Hi everybody, this is Dr. Jody Stanislaw, and these are some interesting times that we're living in right now. Uh, but I just went for a walk, went for a bike ride um, in my workout clothes, and I, I'm just, I want to inspire all of you with some great tips that we can empower ourselves with at this time. It's uh, really, there's two paths that we can take. There's a path of positivity and empowerment, or there's a path of fear um, and just terror, really. And I really do believe that there is a lot of beauty that can come out of this if we choose to pick the right path. So I, for those of you who have been following me, I've been traveling for six months and I actually have had to cut my travel short and um, I was in India about a month ago, and India is now on an entire countrywide lockdown, and they have three times the population of the U.S. So um, I feel very lucky that I have now landed in Hawaii. Um, I was going to go home to either Seattle or Sun Valley, Idaho, two places I call home, but both are on lockdown. So I've landed here in Hawaii, and I'm very grateful. And I just wanted to really be a beacon of, of inspiration and empowerment for everybody. Um, most of my followers, I'm assuming you guys have type one diabetes or have uh, connections to type one, um, but that is my goal. I've had type one for 40 years in about two months, I think, April, no, three months. And I'm very proud of the healthy life that I have lived for all of these years. And my, I feel like it's my given duty to inspire and educate as many type ones around the world as I can to live a long and healthy life with type one. And so I thought this is such a perfect time to come to you live every day. I'm gonna to come to you live every day for, let's, well, we'll just see how long this goes, but I'm here to inspire you. So check out my Facebook page every day. I will be sharing different tips for boosting your immune system, but not only your physical well-being, but also for your mental well-being. So. I want you to see my eyes here. And both are incredibly important. We are complex beings and our mental health plays just as an important role as our physical health. So let's make sure we take care of both. So in today's video, I have just a few, well, I wrote out a list of 12 tips. Um, some are for the physical body and some are for the mental body, but they're very simple. So number one is keep moving, go for a walk. Um, even if you're on house lockdown, find a street that's safe for you to walk on and walk. Uh, I was just reading on our private group about how somebody was having higher blood sugar levels and couldn't figure out why, but then she remembered that she wasn't working out anymore because she's stuck at home. So yes, when we stop working out, the blood sugar level tends to rise. So just be aware of that. And of course, reach out to me if you need to have a private call. And I love helping patients. And we can talk about how to adjust your basal rates. Such an important task that all of you need to know. And I can help you with that. But make sure you stay active. There's so many great videos online. Lots of gyms are doing virtual workouts and virtual yoga classes. Um, but I just went for a bike ride and um, you know, we can keep walking, we can keep working out at home. So actually use this time to even enhance your exercise for those of you that don't generally work out. If you're sitting at home, go for a walk, do some sit-ups, find some fun videos on YouTube to work out. So keeping your body moving obviously keeps your uh, immune system strong. So that's tip number one. And number two, of course, is sleep. Sleep is super important. I encourage all of you to go to bed before 10 p.m., Eight hours of sleep before 10 p.m. are much more restful to your body than eight hours of sleep after 10 p.m. because you work your body too hard. And so there's that much more recuperation that needs to happen if you stay up late and stay up late and stay up late. And frankly, if you're stuck at home, this is a great time to adopt some new habits. Why not, right? Maybe it's time for a morning routine. That's what I've committed to is I have been going to bed before 10, I woke up at six o'clock this morning and I let myself have like a two hour morning routine. <laughs> I made some breakfast, I meditated, I read an inspirational book, I went for a bike ride, I called my mom, why not, right? And then I was working by, I think, I don't know, nine or 10. So now is the time to take advantage of the benefits that we do have. It's really easy to focus on all the negative, but my video here today, my message to you is find the silver lining. So if you're stuck at home, don't waste your time. 
create a new morning routine, create a new evening routine, something like that. And but get more sleep. That's tip number two. Number three is practice gratitude. A huge, I've been a huge fan of gratitude list since I learned about them in medical school being a treatment for mild to moderate depression. I keep a book by my bed and you just, I just write what I'm grateful for every day. And that's what you can do. Every morning you wake up, you're having your breakfast, write a list. Don't just think about it. Write a list of what you're grateful for. Do you have eyes? Do you have your hearing? Do you have your legs? Do you have your insulin? Do you have water? Do you have food? Do you have a house? Do you have fresh air? Do you have a comfy bed? Do you have plumbing? I mean, the list goes on and on. So I really encourage you now is a great time to pick up a gratitude practice. It not only benefits you in the long term, but it also is really important at a time like this. So that's step number three, exercise, sleep, and gratitude. Step number four is laughter. Laughter actually is proven to boost immune system. So if you're stuck at home and if you're watching movies, watch a comedy. Uh, I love laughter and truly it boosts your white blood cell count. So increase laughter, call a friend, tell jokes. Look, at there's so many funny videos on YouTube now. So I always Google like funny cats or funny dogs and it's always great. So that's four, okay? Those are the basics. Those are basics um, in terms of what I call the four pillars. Well, I haven't mentioned food yet, but the four pillars that I always work with my patients on when I'm working privately with patients are good sleep, good exercise, good emotional health, and then food. So let me get to that one. Food, get rid of the the crap food. We know it's not good for our blood sugar level, but it's also not good for our immune system. So now's the time to clean up your diet. Try some new recipes, um, stock up on frozen vegetables if you, you know, if that's the best you can do. But healthy eating is so important. One of the things, of course, that's been going around a lot is the, the phrase, people with diabetes are more at risk. And I want to dispel that myth, but clarify. High blood sugar levels are what are damaging, okay? Just having the word diabetes in your body, in your life, in your medical chart, (laughs) does not necessarily put you at higher risk. When they say that, they assume that we're out of control, our blood sugar levels are high, etc. So I've had diabetes for 40 years, and I feel that I am healthier than many of my friends. I take impeccable care of my four pillars. I get good sleep, I get good exercise, I eat well, and I take care of my emotional health. And I take care of my blood sugar levels. So if you are doing all those things, no, I don't think you're any more at risk than somebody that smokes, somebody that eats healthy eats unhealthy, somebody that lives on McDonald's, somebody that doesn't sleep well, right? So just really be empowered. Don't let that phrase scare you if you have diabetes. Be empowered and use this time to even heighten your self-care, okay? So healthy food, avoid the crap food. That's just going to weaken your system as well as alcohol. Um, Obviously, we know thoroughly wash your hands. I'm sure everybody knows that by now. Warm water, soapy, foamy soap, 20 seconds, it's better than hand sanitizer, okay? So you don't need to stock up on hand sanitizer if you're at home. You need to stock up on good soap and keep that hot water running as you sing whatever song you want. Happy birthday, they say, right? Sing the whole happy birthday song and that's 20 seconds. So those are basics, right? The four pillars, eat healthy, get rid of the crap, sleep well, exercise, keep moving even if you're stuck at home, and uh, mental health, right? Gratitude list, laughter, stuff like that. So some basic supplements that I'll recommend are vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc lozenges, zinc lozenges that you suck on, not zinc pills that you swallow. It needs to stay in your mouth. Uh, Turmeric, that's a great one. And then simply, you know, there's some immune boosting teas that you can get. um, And there's a lot of immune boosting herbal blends. There's so many out there that um, I don't have access to each of you and where you are. So I just really recommend, um, well, actually I do have an online pharmacy that I should be sharing with all of you. That's silly. See, new ideas keep popping up in my head every day. So, but get, um, if you can look online um, for an immune boosting blend, that's always good. But frankly, I think if you follow the four things that I already said, eat well, take care of your mental health, exercise and sleep, four pillars, and then some basic supplements like vitamin C, vitamin D, Uh, immune boosting teas, 
Um, obviously, blends, echinacea blends are, uh, are focused on immune boosting. And of course, drink enough water. These are putting you ahead of <laughs> the majority of Americans, truly. If you do those four lifestyle things, as well as some extra supplements, and you're eating healthy, and you're drinking water, and you're getting good sleep, those are things that I want you to feel very empowered by, okay? So I am really excited to be tuning in every day. I'm going to keep you guys inspired. And please, I am still fully working. I work with patients all over the world. If you have any questions about your diabetes, please, now is the time to sign up for a free call with me. Also, this whole diabetes, diabetics, I don't like saying that word. I like to say people with diabetes are at higher risk. Yes, it's true. When you have a higher A1C, if you have an A1C below, above even 6.5, but definitely above 7%, yes, you are in the category of being at higher risk. So now is the time to act. And it's, I already have a telemedicine practice. I already work virtually. So I work with patients all over the world. I do a three-month consulting program where we get to work, you know, on the phone, weekly for three months I, you get access to all of my training videos you get access to my group calls that i do on zoom and just a wonderful incredible life-changing support and i have been doing this for 10 years and i guarantee you if you're struggling with your blood sugar levels you could be a different person by the end of my three-month program so please just go to my website and that's drjodyndcom it's d-r-j-o-d-y N as in naturopathic, D as in doctor.com. And you'll see um, a link that says, let's chat. And all you do is you go to my calendar and you sign up for a free call. I start with a free call because I want to get to know you. I want you to feel comfortable and confident with who I am. I want to get to know what you're looking for and make sure we're a good fit. So anybody that's struggling with type 1 diabetes, I feel pretty confident that we're going to be a good fit. So I've been helping patients, like I said, all over the world. I have incredible success stories that are also on my website. So please take a look there. If you have any questions, please just comment in the thread below this video and stay tuned. Please, if you know anybody else with type 1 diabetes, share. I'm, I'm really excited this the positive that's coming out of this is people are going online, which I think is the wave of the future. And now this is actually pushing us even more online. It's efficient, it's effective, and it creates greater communities, and it creates greater access. Um, all of my patients know that they're not limited to the diabetes care that's just within the radius of where they live. I have been traveling for six months and I still have continued my telemedicine practice. So really wrapping your head around using telemedicine is really gonna be the wave of the future, and I've already started it 10 years ago. And to ask your NC to answer your questions, you still need a local doctor, which I recommend people to have their primary care doctor or somebody at home to write prescriptions and labs, because what I offer is the best education and support and community for how to manage your blood sugar levels than what 99% of patients I've ever talked to have ever come across. So I've been using my own diabetes as an experiment for 40 years. I'm healthy, I'm a healthy 47 year old woman that was diagnosed in 1980. And so many things that I've learned about diabetes are from my own experience, as well, of course, as going to medical school. I have an incredibly unique um, offering because I have diabetes, I am a medical professional, and I work virtually, and I wanna take care of your mental health, I wanna know what supplements you're on, I wanna know what you're eating, I'm incredibly accessible. I let my patients who work with me email me, sometimes text me. Um, I bring you together. You meet other patients. We have group calls twice a month. So what I offer is unlike anything else that's out there. I don't know a single holistic doctor with diabetes who's helping type 1s online. Um, there's a couple male physicians and health practitioners on the East Coast that I know of too, who I adore and respect, but I do believe that what I offer is very different. Um, because like I said, I am a holistic physician with an expertise in type 1 diabetes and a passion to help you. Um, and I have had diabetes for 40 years. So I, if you're learning about me for the first time, or if you've been following me forever, but have never signed up, now is the time. Now is the time. All you have to do is go to Dr. Jody 
N D that's N as a naturopathic and D as in doctor.com and then click on let's chat. So let's see. I have a comment here from Isabel. Love your work. Thanks for sharing. People with diabetes need to realize the reasons they could be at risk and take the initiative to reduce that, not just fall into the doom and gloom suggested uh, by the info that's out there. Keep up the great work, Dr. Jody. Thank you, Isabel. She is um, absolutely echoing what I just said. So let's not fall into the doom and gloom. Let's be empowered. Um, Valerie Ann, good to see you. You look great. Well, thanks. <laughs> I haven't wanted to go to the store, so I haven't bought nail polish remover. So that's why my nails look so bad because, you know, I don't have nail polish remover. <laughs> but thanks that I look great. You know, um, I've been traveling for so long and uh, I was scheduled to travel for a whole year. And obviously that's been canceled. So now I've landed in Hawaii and I'm going to just live here for a while, I suppose. Okay. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll do another. If you guys want to hear about my travels, um, I was in nine countries in the past six months. I was I lived for a month in Croatia and then Lisbon, Portugal, Valencia, Spain, Cape Town, South Africa, Hanoi, Vietnam, and India. And then I also stopped over and rode a camel in the Sahara Desert in Morocco. And I visited Dubai and I visited a friend in Stockholm. So... <laughs> I carried all of my supplies with me, all of my insulin, all of my um, my Dexcom supplies, and I was supposed to be in Thailand this month, but I decided I should come home, but not to Seattle and not to Idaho, where there's lots of coronavirus. So I have landed at an Airbnb in Hawaii. So that's where I'm coming to live from today. And I am absolutely dedicated to helping as many people as I can, which is why I've decided to go live every day until... I don't know, maybe it'll just be my new thing, but I wanna keep you guys inspired. I had such an incredible group call with my patients on Monday and we had so much fun. We had a Zoom call with patients everywhere from Hawaii to Virginia and everywhere in between. And I, it was amazing to see everybody at the beginning of the call versus the end of the call, to see how quickly when we're together with positive-minded people supporting each other, how quickly we can raise our energy. And anytime you're feeling better and more joyful, you're strengthening your immune system. So we can't afford to be in the doom and gloom and the fear. We've got to stay positive. So just remember that I will be online now every day inspiring you with tips on how to stay positive, how to improve your blood sugar levels, what supplements to take or what mental practices I'm recommending. But I'm truly, I personally am using this time to be as inspired as I can to really create healthier habits at home. My morning routine, my evening routine, and this is a great time. Let's not just sit at home and complain and zone out and watch Netflix. This can be an incredible time to stop, assess your life, assess is this really the path I want to be on, or maybe you love your life, but there's a few things that you haven't been able to do, right? So you haven't been able to read that book. You haven't been able to call your loved ones as much. Um, you haven't been able to slow down and do some yoga or meditate or try new recipes. We really can choose to be empowered right now. We do not have to be in a doom and gloom state of mind. Wayne Dyer, who I absolutely adored for all the years that he was out inspiring the world, who actually lived on Maui, which is now right out that window, um, I'll never forget a talk where he said he has, he had eight daughters or eight children. I think they were all women, all daughters. And he, you know, they were going through their teenage years and they were feeling depressed and he was walking around the house feeling inspired and, um, positive. And his daughter got mad at him for being happy. She's like, I am having the worst day and you're just, you know, um, snapping and singing around all happy. And he said, well, you know what? There's no level of sadness or depression that I could carry that would help you feel better. And actually the opposite is true. No matter how sad and depressed and fearful the people are around you right now, you also being sad and fearful and depressed helps nobody. It doesn't help others and it doesn't help yourself. So we made that very clear on the group call I did with my patients on Monday that by the end of the call, everybody was in a better mood. 
Nothing had changed on the outside. We had just changed on the inside because of what have we, what we chose to focus on. So there's a fable about um, a little boy that's asking his grandfather about, well, the grandfather's no telling his little, his grandson about how everybody has two wolves in their head. And one wolf likes fear and anger and resentment and guilt. And another wolf loves joy and love and connection and happiness. And the son was, grandson was fascinated. He's like, everybody has two wolves? And he goes, well, how do you, how do you know which wolf is going to win in their head? And the grandfather simply said, it's whichever wolf you feed. So I should read that. I'll read that verbatim. <laughs> But the point is, we can choose to feed the, the wolf with fear and live in that contracted, weak immune system, what's going to happen state, or we can choose to feed that I'm empowered right now. There's things I can do. I can take care of my body. I can go on a walk. I can drink some good water. I can eat healthy vegetables. I can clean out my kitchen and get rid of all the crap food. I can watch a funny video. There's so many things that we can do to empower ourselves. And what I don't recommend is sitting at home, watching the news all day long, staying in fear, eating unhealthy food, letting your blood sugar level run high. So I cannot tell you enough how important it is to have healthy blood sugar levels all the time, but especially right now. So high blood sugar levels are what put us at risk. Having diabetes does not. High blood sugar levels do. And I am absolutely committed to helping you get your blood sugar level it's great. You can get your blood sugar levels to a point where your A1C is near 6%. That is what I am promising you. If you follow me and if you work with me, you can work with me live virtually. We have calls weekly for three months. We could do, uh, or I also have a video series. If you're not ready to work with me live, which I'm not quite sure why you wouldn't be. Um, I definitely have set my business up where I can help an endless number of patients. I spent two years creating videos on how to set your basal rate, on how to accurately dose for meals, because it's not just about carb counting, let me tell you, on how to dose properly for exercise, how to have your blood sugar level stay flat through the night, which is a very important time, how to reduce your chance of lows, how to exercise without eating, I wish I had learned that 20 years before I did. So many things. I have multiple different courses. How to get off the blood sugar roller coaster. That's a great one to start with. What to eat and how to dose. How to master your blood sugar with exercise. How to stay positive and avoid burnout. All of these courses. My goal eventually, and especially now, is to get them into hospitals and diabetes centers around the world. That is the biggest prayer I have for the next stage of my business, is to get all of my videos into diabetes centers and hospitals around the world. Because number one, I believe it's the most thorough education out there. I've never seen a training program for type 1 diabetes that is as thorough as my videos. Um, but number two, it will also save the hospitals money because video training is the wave of the future. My goal right now is to ramp up my work to start connecting with as many hospitals as I can. So if any of you have connections to diabetes centers, please uh, PM me or thread, put a thread in the below. Um, yeah, this is a great suggestion actually. Uh, if you have, well, of course, I'm assuming you go to a diabetes center, send me the contact info of the people that you think would want to um, hear from me. Because now is a huge shift in our world and, and telemedicine is going to be the wave of the future. And I've been doing it for 10 years and I have the most comprehensive video series for how to have a healthy life with type 1. And so I need to get into the hospitals. That is my goal. So if anybody of you can help me have a contact in the hospitals, let me know. Um, I really feel like it's my life's mission is to reach as many type ones as I can. And I love working with one-on-one, -on -one, so I'll never stop that. But one-on-one -on -one only reaches one at a time. So my goal, like I said, is to, um, to have diabetes centers around the world just be able to share my videos with their patients. Because the reason why I have so many patients is because so many of you do not have access to good care, 
even if you go to an endocrinologist, and I hate to say this, but even if you go to a diabetes center, I have so many patients that go to well-known diabetes centers and they did not feel empowered about their diabetes until they met me and worked with me. So I have sitting on a gold mine of transformation and empowerment for everybody with type one out there. And my goal is to get this into hospitals so they have a thorough training program that is no cost to them and gives unlimited access to patients around the world. That is my biggest dream. So if any of you can help me with that, that is great. So this is so fun. I feel like I could keep going on forever. I don't really know what the rules are though. Like do people watch the whole video if it's this long or do people watch just snippets of it? Like, I don't know. I'm just jumping out into the world of Facebook lives because now's the time to try new things and that's what I'm doing. So I am really excited to be connecting with you in this way. I feel very blessed to have a community online already that I've built in these past 10 years. And my dream is to just keep growing it, keep inspiring you to be healthy, especially now. And just my ending message is if you are struggling with your blood sugar levels, now's the time to reach out with me. Just go to the website, drjodynd.com. And that's N as in naturopathic, ddoctor.com. But frankly, anywhere where you can, um, you don't have to ever remember my website. Anywhere around the world, because I've tested this, you just Google Dr. Jody, that's J-O-D-Y, and then the word diabetes, and I'm the first one that comes up. So Dr. Jody Diabetes is all you need to know to find me. And you'll see my website, and then you'll see the Let's Chat, and you'll see T1D classes. There's so much that I can help you with either virtually um, through my, you know, my video courses or just one-on-one -on -one with group, with private calls. And I, I would love it. So let's do this. Let's stay healthy. Let's stay positive. Let's get your blood sugar level under control. I look forward to hearing from you, either messaging me um, on Facebook, commenting on the thread or sign up for a free call and and if there um, I should probably open up some more calendar times on my oh look it I already got a connection endocrinology associates associates in Roanoke Virginia way to go Pam thank you for sharing I am absolutely going to reach out to him this is this is the time this is the time for us to change the face of medicine to get telemedicine be a more accepted there's so many roadblocks that they put in that's why i can't write scripts for you guys and i can't order your prescriptions um but that hasn't stopped me from doing this anyways um, because my education and my not only my diabetes education but my emotional sport i look at you as a whole person so i haven't let all of the roadblocks that they've put in the way of standard um, doctors being on telemedicine. I haven't let those block me. I am somebody that figures stuff out and makes it work. And that's why I know so much about diabetes is back in the day when they told me I couldn't eat this or I couldn't eat that, I started learning to teach myself sliding scale back in the day when it wasn't even a thing. Back in the day when they just gave you a set meal plan and a set insulin dose and that's what you had to do. And I turned 18 and I thought to myself, I am not gonna do that. <laughs> I recently had a change of insurance and need to see a new endo doc in order to get prescriptions. Any advice? Well, let's see. That was a comment from any, a new endo to get prescriptions. I would be shocked if you have to only get diabetes supplies from an endo. Um, that doesn't make sense to me. So, but anybody that's looking for new insurance, I do recommend that you just look for G Google independent insurance agent. Um, they differ, of course, state by state because every state has their own insurance plans and insurance rules. But that's how I've found my insurance for all these years of being diabetic and being self-employed is I have um, an insurance agent, in, put independent insurance agent, and they should talk to you for free because they get paid by the insurance companies. But they're paid to be the experts in all the different plans and then you give them your details and you find out and they, they tell you what the best plan is for you. So I'd Google independent insurance agent um, and see if you're on the best plan in the first place. Um, and then as for finding the right doctor, once you're in the plan, they should you should be able to you know direct that question to your doctor. Um, but that's what, that's what I would recommend. <laughs> this is so fun. I get all these little 
blips of who's watching and who's watching and comments and things like that. Um, let's see, I had a thought before I got on the insurance tangent. Oh, so people ask me all the time, do you take insurance? No, I don't take insurance because what I offer isn't even comparable to standard medicine. What I offer is so above and beyond what any standard medical doctor provides that when you work with me, it's an investment. It's an absolute investment. Just like you paid to, likely to go to any sort of trade school or education, um, college, private schools, graduate degrees, anything that we pay for because we know it's going to change our life for the long term, that is what my patients um, see the value of in working with me is. It's a true, it's like you can go down this path of standard medicine and your A1C is 7% or higher and your health eventually goes downhill, or you can invest in something that will change your life and put you on the trajectory of having a long and healthy life because you've gotten the education you need and the support and guidance that you need to have an excellent A1C keeping you healthy. So um, I don't take insurance. I can write out an invoice and you can, um, you can of course uh, 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 send it to your insurance company. Some people get um, coverage that way, but I guarantee you, and I have lots of patients that are on my reference list for any of you considering working with me, you can, I, I will connect you with past patients who have had life-changing results in working with me. I encourage us to put our health at the priority of life right now. And if your diabetes has been out of control, now is the time to get it under excellent control. And you don't have to start you know, if you want to just start with one of my videos, that would probably be the best. One of my video courses, um, how to get off the blood sugar roller coaster is $77, totally affordable, hopefully, um, for you in your situation. And, um, that would be a great place to start. So I'm absolutely committed to helping you get your blood sugar levels under control. Now is the good time. Remember quote, diabetics being at higher risk of getting sick is directly correlated with how well or not your blood sugar levels are managed. So please comment below, did you like this video? Um, what kind of topics do you want me to cover in the next days? I'm gonna go on live every day for who knows how long. And my goal is to support type one diabetics with living a positive, happy and healthy life. And we can do that. Now is more important than ever. I'm here to help you. So. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go have some lunch now and enjoy some fresh air. Like I said, I've you know I've canceled my worldwide travels. I'm living in Hawaii now. I'll give you a little view of my new office view. Look at this, it's pretty amazing. Can you see that? Yes, that's my view. How lucky, I feel very lucky. So I'm continuing to work. I'm not letting this virus slow me down. Um, I changed the course of my travels and now I'm here and I'm speaking with all of you. I'll be here even more and um, that's it. So really, I need feedback. So write what you want to learn, write your comments, write topics and go to my website, sign up on Let's Chat if you wanna get your blood sugar levels in better control and why wouldn't you? So thanks so much for watching everybody. Stay safe, stay sane and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.